MJ Alpha Designs. I had planned on doing a video um, about sewing machines and which sewing machines I recommend. And I just looked up online to see if the one that I normally used, gosh, it has to have been, I don't know, maybe six years ago when I was toting my sewing machines to the elementary schools and teaching everybody. They don't have that one anymore. Actually, you can buy it, but it's like $337. And when I was buying that machine, it was $150. So um, I have to change the way that I'm going to do this. And so I, what I want to talk to you about today is a beginning sewing machine for people. And if you have a sewing machine that works, great. Go ahead and use that. If you have trouble with it, please get on my Facebook page and ask me any questions that you might have about the sewing machine. Um, especially if it hasn't worked in a while, uh, there, there could be some problems with it, you know, or stuff like that. You want to have a good working sewing machine because otherwise it's going to frustrate you to the point where you're going to say, oh my gosh, this is not worth it. It is not worth sewing and I don't want to do it. Um, and sewing is so fun and it is a life skill that will help you uh, it was very clear to me during this pandemic that it was very helpful to have the sewing skill that I do because I have made almost around 500 masks for people. And these are just people that I know. So, um, you know, it definitely was a skill that was helpful during this time. And I'm wondering if that's possibly why the sewing machines are so expensive right now. So I did see one on Joanne Fabrics website, and I don't even know if it's available or not. Uh, $149.99, it's a Brother XS2080, I think. Um, yeah, the XS2080. And specifically about that one, what's good is that it has speed control. So no matter how hard you push on the, on the foot pedal to make the sewing machine go, it will only go as fast as you have it set on the, um, on the, on the actual machine part. There was another one that I saw, a Singer 7258, um, and it looks like that one could possibly be good. I couldn't find a price for that. Um, I had been looking on Amazon because Amazon normally gives you a little bit extra um, like a, a tray that your sewing machine goes around your sewing machine, um, or a walking foot, which is really helpful in sewing also. But really what you want to look for in a beginning sewing machine, if that's the route you want to go, and if, if you're ready to purchase that, is I would say around $150 and it should have the speed control because for kids that don't know how to drive, <laughs> it's extremely helpful uh, because they just push down and it just takes off and then it goes way too fast and then they can't control the fabric and everything. Um, and, uh, you know, for adults, adults know how a little bit more how to do the pressure of the foot pedal, but it's really helpful just to have it on the sewing machine and you can just make it slow and you know that it's only gonna go this speed, it's not gonna go faster if you push your foot down on accident or anything like that. Um, but when I was looking to teach my classes um, at the elementary school, that is the number one thing that I wanted was the speed control. Because along with speed control, cutting is the second hardest thing that sewers um, have to do. So look for a machine that has the speed control on the machine. That is my recommendation, and I'm sorry I don't have more information for you about like what sewing machine to buy or anything like that. Um, I, I was a little surprised when I got on researching for this video, and there's not a lot out there. <laughs> so good luck with that. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them on my Facebook group, which is Miss Jen's Sewing Group. Thanks so much. I look forward to hearing from you.